room, the altar set up in front of the shrine, the drum sounded with a booming echo. It was the finale of the festival. Don't we'll be going off ahead, then. Oh, I need to go and get myself a good spot, too. Well then, everyone, see you in a bit. Both Rika Chan and Tommy Sakasan gave their farewells and disappeared into the crowd. Forgetting something, aren't they? I wish both of you best in your en endeavors. Now, shall we be off? The penalty man! Yeah, might as well go see Rick Chan's charming figure. Let's go! Yeah. Ah, where's Rana? What are you doing? Hey, Ichikun! Rick Chan, save me! Since she was carrying such a ridiculously large stuffed animal, she was being carried by the flow of people. What is she doing? She must have her hands full to take you down that bear. So I'll leave Ren in your care, Kei Chan. I have my hands full taking care of Stoga. Who'd want to be looked after by you, Mian san? Ouch. Ow, ouch, please don't pull my arm! Before losing sight of Mion, I grabbed the back of Renner's car. Can't you come on there? Don't grab me there! Always so bossy, where can I grab that? Oh, oh. I didn't feel ashamed at all. Renner was ashamed enough for the both of us. I grabbed onto Renner's hand and dashed after Mion and the others. We're gonna be late, so let's hurry up! Yeah! I hadn't realized Renner's hand was so delicate. Maybe she needed a bit more exercise and nutrition. That wasn't what I meant, not at all. My ears burns. I try to keep calm, I repeat the phrase. Keep it together, can't you, my body, my mind. But it didn't look like I would be able to anytime soon. I really didn't want Renna to see my face right then, so I pushed onwards, dragging her along back, looking back even worse. There was already a huge group of people gathered at the altar in front of the shrine. The fire at the altar made it as bright as midday and just as hot. There's a pile of futons warded with sanctified rope in front of the altar. Come to think of it, they didn't say it was a festival where they did something with a cop named futons. Kijisan! Renasan! We're over here! Sadaka so waved her hand from the front row. Ah, sorry, sorry. Making our way through the mass of people, we reached the spot they seen. How was it? Were you able to have a little bit of excitement with Renna? You punks, so that was your plan? That was your... that was what your plan was. Instead of replying, Mion gave us a perverse grin. How was it, Renna? This kid chance hand bigger than he thought it would be. <laughs> oh. Renna turned bright red, puffs of steam shooting out of her. I heard something slice through the air and turned around to see a Mion on the ground with a welt on her face. Mion, when were you hit? Between that ha and O oh of her howl, I think. Rena, it's not good to punish your friends without your embarrassment. I didn't hit her, whatever, howl. Thump the thunderous beat of the drum echoed, silencing the crowd and the sound rack. It must all be quiet, it's beginning! It was a solemn ritual, so we had to have mysterious music. Rika Chan entered, dressed as a shrine maiden, followed by members of the minimal committee. The elders all looked at Rika Chan and clasped their hands in praise. The only thing allowed to disturb the profound silence was the flash from Tomotaka San's camera. What's the big thing Rika Chan's holding? Uh, oh, that's used for this festival. It's a sacred farming tool that only the Shrine Maiden may touch. It was an awkward shape for a piece of farm equipment, not uncommon for something used in rituals. After reciting the Shinto prayer, Rika Chan approached the pile of futons gathered at the altar. She swung the hoe skillfully, plowing it into the futons. Each and every little movement of this performance probably had to be done in a certain way. Without a doubt, this was a ritual. What's next? Uh, carrying out Fudon's? She's purifying Fudon to absorb illness from people over the winter. Illnesses. So when Kitchen said airing out Fudon's, he wasn't completely wrong. Kitchen's face was already dripping with sweat. That hoe was probably really heavy. 
She staggered side to side with the momentum of each swing. Toka looked on and silently lending her support. Great. We can send friends every single day with a mochi hammer. She, uh, she will certainly prevail. Toka's hands were sweaty and when ever Richten started to sway a little, she held her breath. Why wasn't me on a candidate can uh, to be the Shrine Maiden? It was wrong having Rick Chen swing around something so heavy. I'd do it if they asked me, you know. And well, it's not something just anyone could do. That's true, Shrine Maidens need to be pure after all. <laughs> Miriam drove her elbow into my side. With the foot of the big drum, Rick Chen gave a solemn bow and descended from the altar. That triggered a round of generous applause. After the Shinto priest had raised up the clan's food arms like a portable altar, all the spectators stood up. Following after the priests, we all marched on to a moderate pace, at a moderate pace. Descended the shrine's giant stairs in a line. What's happening now? Washing the food arms in the river? Ha 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 ha! What means sending cotton adrift, you know? Tanagashi cotton, eh? Cotton. Cotton, where are you in this dictionary? Mysterious music. Man, I don't know how many parts I'm gonna get out of this recording, yeah? Cotton. Actually, I think it's pretty much the same in freaking Japanese. Written out in katakana. And it ends with ton, so like it probably is cotton, cotton, something like that, I'd imagine. But not that difference. The session continued right up to the bank of the stream. The fire was stoked high and it was bright as day or two. People started crowding around it and clamoring. Right, get in line. Why not, Katie I wondered what was up. Maybe we'd get some holy wine. Red and white bean bombs? <laughs> it's not food. I said it was cotton. Ah, but of course. I didn't call it a Watanagashi for nothing. I finally understood. The medical committee members pulled out the cotton from inside the futons and followed it up like mochi, handing it out to people. Then they dove into the line and brought out some for me as well. We then proceeded to the bank of the steam. Three. This is your first time, Kate, to come just copy what I do. She held the cotton in her right hand and, waving her hand as if to purify it, she touched it to her forehead, chest, navel, and both thighs. Do this three times and silently give thanks to Oyashira-sama. Oyashira-sama? What's that? Name of the shrine god? That's just the guardian deity of Nibisawa. It's kind of important, but I won't get into detail about it. It brings about both miracles and curses, so you must be sure to show respect. That sounded like a pretty frightening god. But, well, when in Rome, when in Hinimizawa, there's officially a resident of Hinimizawa now, after all. Doing as Renner showed me, I touched the cotton over my thumb three times. Thank you, Oya Shirasama. Thank you, Oya Shirasama. Oya Shirasama. This way, all the evil that possessed you is sucked out by the, ca the cotton. Then you let it gently drift away on the stream, and you're done. The yellow red and rice set our pieces of cotton afloat on the surface of the water. The flowers of cotton blooming in the water had sucked out all the evil festering in him as and drifted off, disappearing into the distance. It was wonderful, like those floating lantern festivals I'd seen on TV. The best part, though, was the feeling like this rite of passage had made me a true resident of Hindu's Hey, you Well, stood up into the stream, I somehow got separated from Renner. I wasn't very lonely, though. I know this place now. This is where I live, my home. It's probably better if I just stay here instead of wandering around aimlessly. Someone would surely find me while I was enjoying the fet at evening breeze. I heard a familiar voice. It was from the Takasans. I headed towards it. Uh, how did it go, Tom Takasan? Were you able to get some good shots? Yeah, fortunately. Tom Takasan was with a girl. I felt a little like I was intruding. 
There she is. Uh, how was Katie doing? Did you enjoy the festival? From the way she spoke, it seemed like she was a resident of Hinnemis Island. I really should try harder to remember people's faces here. What was her name? Well, uh, it's fine. My face must have given away how desperately I was trying to remember her name because she gave a light-hearted chuckle. It's probably because he hasn't been long since he moved here. It's pretty hard to believe seeing how friendly he's gotten with the other kids. And that's how it looked. It was probably all thanks to Renner and Leon. Uh, I don't know which one of them is speaking. I have to feel more like a resident of Edom's hour after taking part in the festival today. Hmm, I wonder about that. Oh, that's not like you. I tried to get used to hitting his hour, but there were still plenty of things I didn't know. The faces of people I'd met, for example. Things that had happened in the past as well. Oh, you're feeling left out because of something like that. It's not so much as feeling left out, it's just not sure how to say. That incident at the dam construction site, the fighting over it and other conflicts. That terrible incident they pretended they didn't even know about whenever I brought it up. Even though it was in the past, as someone living in Hinnibis Hour, who wasn't wrong to want to know about both the good and bad that had happened here. If it will put you at ease, then I'll tell you everything I know. Oh, is he... He's asking him about that then? Tomitaka-san's smile made me more relieved than I'd ever been. It was hard to think of what to ask when someone said, ask me anything, though. Even when there was so much I wanted to ask. Then... Oh, he hasn't asked him yet, then. Well, now he is. Then, could you tell me about what happened with the... Uh, when the dam was being constructed? There was a big incident where Hinamizawa was going to be submerged, right? I think the locals would be more knowledgeable about the dam than I am. Well, if you don't mind, I'll tell you what I know. Yeah, it's only what I read in the newspaper. From Tegasen's eyes entered an unfocused gaze as he searched through his memory when he spoke. The decision to start the dam project was finalized seven or eight years ago. So, yeah, it would technically be the 80s would be the time of plot, and the 70s is the time the dam construction project starting. I heard it was the next major project after Corona. There were three major issues in Japan at that time. Improving inter-island transportation infrastructure, meeting the high demand for electricity, and flood control. There was a boom of dam building due to the massive economic stimulus they provided on top of generating electricity and flood control. Shimizawa had the right conditions to support dam construction, so it was singled out. The dam reservoir would have covered quite a lot of ground when it was completed. The entire area right up to Yagoichi, way upstream, would be out of water. I wonder if that's a real place or not. But why did they have to pick a populated area like in Hour? Couldn't they have instead picked a place where nobody lives? Hmm, I'm not really sure why, but I heard that it was just the right terrain for building it down. But of course, there were protests here in Hinnemis Hour. Rika Chan had said there was a battle from that choice of words, I have to guess things have turned violent. There was a trial and it was even brought up before their national diet. It was covered in the Tokyo newspapers too. Leon had told me all about that as well. I'm sure every resident of Hinnemis Hour had united to fight the yellow. The feeling of solidarity found here which would not be expressed could not be expressed properly with mere words was likely brought about by that family. As a result, bribery and scandals were brought by to light. As things got more and more complicated, they eventually halted construction. I want to know now was my only chance to ask. It was certainly a bizarre instant that boys my age would be curious about. I felt a little shame from the fact that I was petty enough to have my curiosity piqued by Renner and me on the to talk about the event. But I figured I might as well ask since I had a chance. Just so I would stop thinking about it so much. So, there was a dismemberment, right? There was. I happened to be here in Hinnemis Hour at the time. So I remember it well. And the Tiger Sands answer was nonchalant in contrast to my hesitantly forced out questioning. 
It was about this time four years ago. It was the day of the Watanagashi, if I recall correctly. The great umbrella to continue construction on the dam was in disarray. Scandal after scandal, a rocky project near the end. The incident that was the final nail in the coffin for the dam project. A fight at the dam construction site ended in the victim being murdered. Fearing prosecution, the six assailants divided in yeah, the remains into six pieces and each hidden one. Five of the six criminals turned themselves in out of guilt, but one was still on the run. The right arm he hidden had yet to be found. The major details lined up with what was in the tablet I read earlier. It certainly was a tragic instance, but it wasn't so terrible that Renna and Mion needed to hide from me. No, Renna moved there a year previous from the plot, so technically she did arrive in the village three years after it did that, right? I guess they didn't want somebody who just moved here to have a negative impression of things out. I don't think people for having friends are worried so much about me, as well as James was still being so interested in us. It was near the end of all the trouble with the dam, you see. So everyone was saying that it was Oyashira Sama's curse. Oyashira Sama's curse, huh? It's always that, isn't it? It's like, it makes you think of like, uh... Karano Shoujo 2. They have like, a kind of similar thing going on in that one as well. Oyashira Sama is the name of the god at the shrine that tells the festival today, if I recall correctly. I see. And the guardian deity rained divine punishment down on the evil dam construction for trying to flood him as hour. Apparently the youngster, younger ones didn't think so. But it seems the elderly in the village never doubted that it was Oyashira Sama's curse. The woman with Tomatega-san said with a mischievous chuckle. I don't know what type of voice to give her. Tomatega-san began laughing with her. He was so infectious they ended up laughing as well. It's like, ha ha ha, we're talking about like that, but we're just like now. What do I wonder about now? There are quite a few, I think. Much to you too. A few of what? People who believe in Oishira Sama's curse. The woman's lips were still curled into a smile, but her expression turned stern. Then after that, it continued every year. What was around this time? Continued? What continues? Someone thought the for a second as if to build up some suspense, then he whispered to me as if someone might have been listening. Okay, it was him that said it then. And after that, it continued every year. What was around this time? Uh, every year on the day of the Watanagashi, somebody dies. Here fall in this memory on the day of the Watanagashi. The man from Inimizawa who had supported them fell off a cliff overlooking some remnants and died while he was on vacation. Unfortunately for his wife, the boy was never recovered. He supported the dam construction even though he lived in Inimizawa. At the time there were... Wait. Maybe that's her speaking then. He supported the dam construction even though he lived in Inimizawa. At the time, there were whispers amongst the elderly said with Oyashira Sam's curse. The woman chuckled mischievously again. Uh, and then the next year, the night of Watanagashi, the shrine Shinto Christ died suddenly from an unknown illness. His wife drowned herself in the bog that night. Shrine Shinto. Uh, uh, right. The shrine sh uh, Shinto priest. I mean, it was from the shrine here. The woman nodded. Wait, but that would mean. There's a rumor amongst the villagers that they weren't able to quell Oishira Sama's anger. Then the year after that, again on the night of Watanagashi, they discovered the battered body of a local housewife. Housewife? Until now, all these mysterious deaths were people involved with the dam or who had connections with Oishira Sama. With that in mind, could the housewife have been involved in some way too? Exactly. The woman stated slyly, though it was more menacingly. One of the victim's relatives, you see, is connected to a younger brother of the dam supporter who fell to his death two years before. The younger brother is still alive, it seems. But it did bother him quite a bit, so he moved to the neighboring town. Ha! <laughs> Can't blame him there. For a while I stood there with my mouth agape. The battle over the dam construction within him is our future at stake, and the murder there at the center of it all. That was all I knew, and that was all I wanted to ask about. But that wasn't all there was to the story. Homicide. 
body disposal, accidental death, terminal illness, suicide, fatal beatings. I'm a very level-headed young person. I don't really want to believe in curses, but freakish deaths happened every year on the day of the Watanagachi. All of them were related to the dam construction. You see what I mean? Like, once, like, you get to the festival and you get, like, to the end of the festival, that's when the plot starts to really take form. It's like, up to then, it's just, like, slight bits of, like, hinting at the plot's darker side, but mostly light-hearted. This is, like, the turning point where it begins to focus more on the darker side. It doesn't go straight in, like, constantly or anything like that. But it becomes more noticeable and more prominent and builds. And it's it's pretty it's pretty out there. Although out of the question arcs, I think this one like I've I i got a for this, like how would I rank the question arcs in terms of which one's the most messed up? And it's been years since I read them, but I think the second and the third I don't know which one to pick between those two for first. And one of the one of those would also be second, and third, I think, possibly would be this one, and the fourth uh, question arc would be, fittingly enough, I think, the least messed up of the four. But I might be remembering details wrong. But yeah, this one's like kind of tame compared to the second one. Let's put it that way. So when we get through on Kakushi, when we get to Watanagashi. Uh, which is the second uh, question arc, it's going to be much more disturbing. Wait, I didn't read that, did I? Probably. But the freakish deaths happen every year on the day of the Watanagashi, and all of them were related to the dam construction. It's been nearly three bloody hours! Jesus Christ, it was easy to smash each of them as co uh, coincidences by themselves. Where do you put them all together? Dismissing all of them as coincidence would then defy logic. I don't believe in curses, but every single year on the day that we're trying to someone or something makes it happen. That fail. No one chuckled again as if picked up on what I was thinking, as she I mean. It felt like you were saying maybe there was, and maybe we frightened him, stuff like that. I felt embarrassed at being read so easily. I pressed on the and the sand uh, continued. A bit of impatience and irritation in my home. Then, so someone died in Exia, right? Who was it that time? I wonder, who do you think, Keijiko? The, the hell? The way he said it didn't agree with me. The sarcastic tone ticked me off. Don't avoid the question, I'm serious here. Hey, hey, calm down, Keijiko. Uh, oh, wait. Hey, hey, calm down, Kichigun. I realized when she tried to calm me down that I had been panicking. You aren't trying to avoid the question, Kichigun. It's just, when you say the next year, that's... That's today. When she hesitated to say it, Tomotaka-san finished for her. Wait. Shouldn't it be the other way around? She's the one who changed facial expression, indicating she's the one speaking. I was just like, that's today. So it was him that said, I don't know. I broke into a cool sweat. I really didn't like the direction this was headed. Nobody wants to speak of it, but they all think it's gonna happen. That's gonna happen again tonight. I think it's her, probably. The festival was so cheerful, though. Well, the victim last year, the housewife, who was a non believer. It turns out she didn't even attend the Otanagashi festival. There was a rumor going around that if you didn't participate in the festival, you would incur all your sheer summer's wrath. Didn't you hear anything about this case, you could? I never even heard a whisper of that rumor. Uh, and the reason everyone was at the festival was they were afraid of the curse? I figured that must have been the reason. There were a lot more people at the Watanagashi than usual. I guess everyone, I guess everyone was just afraid after all. Oh, uh, why well, you sheer curse? Wait, that was probably here speaking. I couldn't utter a single word. In this modern age, where we've made progress in all scientific fields, shredding light on the unknown and misunderstood, where black and white television has been eradicated and we've seen men to the moon, sent men to the moon, even with all our accomplishments, 
this can exist in modern society. Tons of invitations were sent out to neighboring towns, youth groups, and fell clad in mem numbers. At that string of events, few desired to join. The miracle committee members were complaining about how hard it was to get out of business. Also, the police are treating each case as isolated. They don't believe they're connected. They're trying to keep it quiet, so it's all plain clock sorts. When it began to dawn on me why Ren and Neon were left in the dark. If nothing happened during this with Tanagashi, everything would have uh, been uh, over with and I'd be none the wiser. If nothing happened, all would be well. In that case, it would all end up being just crazy talk. I should have just pretended like I knew nothing from the beginning, and then they wouldn't have had to act like nothing happened. And we would have all gotten back to life as usual. Maybe it was just too much for him after all. The woman ran her fingers through her hair as she sighed. No, it wasn't. Not at all. I tried to act strong, but that just served to emphasize how much the information has unsettled me. After seeing how I looked, Tom Takasan appeared to regret saying anything. Let not a sigh, he then split, forcing an awkward, upbeat them now. Can't you couldn't? Surely you don't believe in such things as curses. Well, no. The cause of all of the crimes were unknown with the perpetrators and their methods all mysterious mysteries, then I would think it's the work of a curse. But that's not how things are in reality. The police are investigating the evidence and suspects to uncover the truth. Hearing him say police made me feel a lot better. It's perfect for rebelling the word curse. The first one of this member, for example. I told you, didn't I? All but one of the perpetrators were arrested. It's only a matter of time for the last one. The motive turned out to have been an argument they had while intoxicated. That's no curse. Don't you agree? That was true. If it didn't happen on the day of the Watanagashi, then I wouldn't think it was related to the curse at all. The accidental death of the man who supported them is the same. He was in a position that made others hate him. The police made a point of investigating the man. They concluded it was an accident, not foul play. They both happened on the day of the festival, right? <laughs> Just think about it, Kachiku. You think people with a lot of enemies here in the Inamisawa woods particularly participate uh, easily in a local festival? It would be especially hard for them to be around during the Watanagashi. Wait, it would be especially hard for them to be around during the Watanagashi. So they probably left Inamisawa intentionally around this time of a year to travel, don't you think? It wasn't a very clear explanation, but I sort of understood what Tom Tiger-san was getting at. So I pressed on earnestly pressed on earnestly, asking more questions so that I could convince myself. And Tomasake san, what about the priest who died after last? The one with the unknown illness. That also happened on the day of the festival. It's even easier to explain what happened to the Shinto priest. The Watanagashi is a really big festival that happens once a year. It's probably from all the built up stress. What may have been because of a pre existing condition. There was an unknown illness. It's hard to believe something was. If an unknown cause could exist of all our events, answers in medicine. It's just an exaggeration. Rumors making rumors. Anyone would get worked up over having incidents happen two years in a row. The sudden death is quite unnatural. Of course, the police ordered an autopsy because of the strange way he died. But there wasn't enough for them to open a full investigation, you know. Turns out it was just a sudden death due to illness. The priest's wife, I mean, the priest, uh, well, it was her speaking there. The priest's wife committed suicide, correct? What about that? I believe I already explained that. Everyone was shaken up by the incidents happening for a third year. Those who are of strong faith were quick to believe it was the work of a curse. Of course, that included the priest's wife. Apparently, they found a suicide note that said something like, My death will quell all Ishira Summer's anger. Well then, how about the next incident, incident the housewife? That happened on the day of Watanagashi too. The perpetrator has already been caught and the case has been closed. Turns out it was just some nut job trying to continue the legacy of the Hinamizawa curse. Then, then how about the incident the next year? Oh, uh, oh yeah, this year is the next year. Some think son gave a hearty laugh. Nothing will happen. Not this year. There was never a curse to begin with. It's just that a group of people believed it was the explanation for a string of coincidences. My internal computer finally got itself back on track. 
I felt a bit embarrassed by how childish I'd become after losing control and panicking. I can see very clearly now that Kate, uh, Kate soon really does love Kingdom Sound. Even if I assure his curse actually did exist. Kate Kun couldn't bring himself to believe that such a thing existed. Maybe that was her speaking, actually. I felt very relieved. I should probably just forget everything I heard tonight. I'll greet Renna and Leon tomorrow with the same smile as always. They'd probably also like tonight to end without incident, so they can continue to tomorrow without having to worry me. After seeing my change in attitude, the woman who had been listening in stretched as she got up from the rock she was sitting on. Well then, I should be getting back. Goodness, I think I may have gone on a bit too long. There were so few people compared to the crowd from before, I could only make out a few groups of families enjoying the cool evening air. Looked at my watch. It seemed we talked for the better part of an hour. Uh, didn't you come along with your friends, kids? Not going to look for them. Oh, yeah. They might all be looking for me. <laughs> You're quite the scoundrel making the girls look for you. See you, Kate Spoon. Have a nice night. You too, Jero san. I'll see you a bit later. Colonel Tiger san seems to be quite the scoundrel himself. So his name is Jero. After dusting off her backside, he disappeared into the crowd of people still busy cleaning up the shrine grounds. Sun swift change in tone. Kichikun! So sorry! In her place, Rena came running over. I could see all the others behind her. Speak of the devil. My bad, K-chan. We got so caught up in our discussion. I'd completely forgotten about them while I caught up in my own conversation, so we were here. My, so Tom Takistan was with you. This works out perfectly. Still need to settle the shooting gallery competition. Yep. That's right, so I guess I'm gonna end up dead last. In the end, after my dramatic victory, Rikishan was the last challenger, but there weren't many targets left. The ones remaining were all tiny and difficult to hit. She did take her time aim, but all three shots completely missed. She was to end up sharing the loser's crown with Tom Takasan. However, she did her little mewing crying for the owner and he turned to mush instantly. She was given a pack of gum as a consolation prize. Her methods were a bit audacious, but she did avoid being the loser of a magnificent way. Come to think, there, Rekichan is quite a trickster. I have no idea what Kate is talking about. Now then, it's decided that Tom Tuggerson is dead last! Everyone cheered and applauded. Tommy Takasan smiled dryly, slightly bewildered. So, Tommy Takasan, are you ready? Penalty time! Ah, uh, oh, I completely forgot about that. You're too naive, Tommy Takasan. This is why our club can never lose. Mion pulled a filth hip marker from her pocket. Oh, it's that. Show him some mercy, Mion. At least use a watchful marker. A permanent one's too harsh. <laughs> it just has to be permanent. It comes off when you do the laundry anyway. What? what, what is this? He's taking easy on me. Well, let's pin his arms around his back and Mion approached him with a marker in one hand. And... <laughs> but she didn't write on Tom Takasan's face, she wrote on the shirt he was wearing. You better have your big break this year, Mion. Rena took up the marker next... Show me your photos next time, okay? Renna. It was a little hard woman who I just had to laugh. Ah, <laughs> this is more like a farewell card than a penalty. Wait, what? What? Wait. Or was that him? I said, oh, this is more like a farewell card than a penalty. Oh, I'm not as soft as the rest. I'll make sure this is a proper penalty. Ah, dead last, a toko. Try harder next time. Try harder next time. Here we go, Katie-san. 
I couldn't decide what to write, but based on what kind of penalty this was, it was probably the most appropriate. Come back and play again, Keiichi. The attacker's son was silent and died on. At first, he was quite bewildered, but now he had a different look on his face. So I have to wear this all the way back to Tokyo as part of the penalty. Of course, you'd better wear it all the way home. <laughs> you can wear it when you come back. It would be nice. He appeared deeply moved. Embarrassment mixed with a wealth of other emotions made him turn a right way. Understood, I'll wear this the next time I come here. I promise. Everyone cheered and applauded. It was the finest parting gift possible for a buddy heading out tonight. I saw the woman who was with Tom san standing near the festival grounds. Seeing Tom san notice her too and knew it was time to leave. Seems like a guest is waiting. Isn't it about time? Hmm? Yeah, that's certainly how it seemed. <laughs> Tom san headed off towards her and seemed to apologize for making her wait. We all shouted stuff at Tom san Each time we did, he looked back and waved his hand. Eventually he faded into the darkness of the night, out of sight. It was quite a casual farewell. This wasn't the first time any of us had seen someone else. They had done the same thing many times before. He's gone. Well, it's about time we take off too. Wicked Chan had to stay behind with the other committee members since they were having a meeting, so Toko was tagging along with him. I headed back home with the usual suspects. We've gone three hours this recording has. The walk back was quite lively with talk of the day's war stories. Should have done this, should have done that, that kind of stuff. Ben and I parted ways with Neon and then it was just the two of us. Then we got to my house and I parted ways with Ben as well. Sorry pretty lady, you alright by yourself? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. It's close, I'm going to run too. If you run into some weirdo, just yell. If someone does come, will you come and save me? Maybe, maybe. If I hear you. Oh, okay. I'll scream loud enough so you can hear me. Merrily spinning her arms around at high speed when I dashed off. She was fine. In that mode, not even an adult could stand against her. And this cheerful presence disappeared and it finally became quiet again. A curse that not a single person even whispered about. The more I learned about it tonight, the more unsettling it became. Indeed. It didn't show on any of their faces, but they were probably all quite concerned about it as well. But if nothing happens tonight, then it all ends up being just crazy talk. Nothing will happen, nothing bad, nothing at all. What's wrong, Keiichi? Why are you standing in a place like that? Come inside, you'll catch a cold. It was my mum. Did you go, mum? To the Watanagashi Festival. In the end, your father didn't wake up, so I missed it. A little disappointing. Mum stuck her tongue out with a bit of an embarrassed look on her face. Now he's gonna be thinking about that now, isn't he? It's like, oh shit, what if Higurashi when they cry? We're gonna get tips, aren't we? <laughs> oh my god, you fi uh, received new tips, that's freaking four. Uh, it's a bit overkill. My neck freaking aches from leaning forward reading all this. Look! Save. We'll go for the tips and all that and continue our narration with the plots. Next time. So, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.